Well, we've just launched from Havelock, and that was there's boats everywhere, cars everywhere, slipping was packed, people were watching. But uh, luckily, we didn't have any, so we would look quite professional. Yeah, but even if you do have. Even if you've done it multiple times before, you still feel scared doing it. You do, yeah. Because people are watching you, so... Everyone's judging and watching. Yeah. It is entertaining. But we're just trying to decide what we do first. If we go to Tirawa for lunch on our way out, or head straight out to go fishing. This trip, no real plan. Second fishing mission in the new boat, so still getting used to it. But I think we will go wide tonight and maybe target a kingfish later this afternoon and then go wider in the evening to another spot and try and target some snapper. But we'll just see what happens. And then the plan is to go and moor up somewhere, maybe Key 2, for the night and do our first overnight adventure on the new boat. Um, but we have no clears, so you have to wait and see, but the Stony Creek fly I think is going to work perfect. Laura's not so keen on the idea, but she's got no choice really. So it would just be annoying if it's windy. Nah, it won't be windy. The weather's meant to be mint. The weather is dying off throughout the day to absolute nothing all night. And then picks up about mid morning tomorrow. It's a bit cloudy. Hopefully it warms up. Have you decided if we're going to Tiwawa yet? Yep, we are. Well, off to Tiwawa for lunch. Oh, <laughs> I don't actually know how to say it properly, but Tiwawa for lunch. not bad at all. Uh, we got there just in time before the mail boat turned up so managed to get our food in before they all did. Laura's a bit tired. Um, but we've arrived, no, but we've arrived at you can't through. No, but you can, beep, you can beep it out. Just say it, we've arrived at We've arrived at Duff Rock, Laura says. Um, so we're just sounding around for a kingfish to see if we can find one here. The water temp is still like a degree colder than last year, so at the moment the kings just aren't schooling up in big numbers, but they're still getting caught, so just got to find where they are holding, and then hopefully we can get onto one, but she's a bit of a lumpy ride out here. She definitely was, but a good way to put the new boat for its test and it passed with flying colours. It definitely, 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 she's a big word for me, uh, rides so much better than the last boat into the chop and I thought the last boat was good but this is a whole new level. Really impressed. We're just going to continue to sound around, have a look on our Garmin electronics. We've got the live sonar going which is, which is pretty bloody cool but uh, it's only showing like bait fish for now. Oh, we got here? Uh, there's something big in there. Found some sign. That is a kingfish. Maybe I'll let Laura drop and if Barracuda she can catch it. Okay. I reckon it's worth a drop. Are you going to drop or do Yeah, you said I was. You go. I haven't done this in a long time. Long time. Yeah, I haven't 
jump out when you think. Yeah, uh, come up. So that sign before was not kingfish. Or if it was, they're not hungry. But finding some more sign here though, look at this. Yes. Now that looks a bit better. We got our mate Ben Carson coming out on the find. She saw him at Tirawa Lodge for lunch as well. But, uh, I think it's his first time. But hopefully, we can get us all onto a kingfish. Do you want me to go? Uh, do I want you to go? The question is yes, I do want you to go. Opposite direction to what we found in the sign. Oh, yeah. So we Science. just did left instead of down. Oh. What nice is There you go, what is it? Very. Yeah. Nice. I'll start recording then. Yeah, no need to record, huh? Well, it's glassed off. Like, look at this. Beautiful out here. But uh, yeah, there's no good sign, but whatever it is is not on the bite. So we decided we're going to go to another spot and try for a king there and then have an evening snapper session again. What do you reckon, Laura? Yeah, unproductive. Unproductive? Yeah. It's so good on the camera. Oh. You're just so talkative, it's so good. I don't know what you want me to say. But you just say what you feel like saying. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Oh. oh well. Alright. We'll see you at the next spot. the shittest footage of my fish team but we're gonna give this a go oh, put it in there <coughs> it might we can shoot the squeeze in there no it won't but that will go there like that Actually, I might have to fight mine on your side anyway gotta walk around the front tape fish has gone to the other side Oh, best spot to fight the fish. Kia ora. This is a way better spot, hey? Yeah, I know, but this is all I've got. I don't know. Hopefully Ben's hooked up. Pretty good day for him if he has. Let's come down here. How good's this walk around? <laughs> Get to fight the fish up the front. Not a bad wee snap actually. Another good eating size. Nice. Well done. Get the footage of you netting your snapper. Look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wound too far. Well done. Here's my uh, snapper. Good 
Last bit, same as yours. Hey, I got you out of this Beautiful. Same size. You reckon? Beauty. Where's that rag gone? There. Oh, we'll measure mine. Yeah, same as right here. Same. Oh, yeah. Can I show the camera mine? Take the camera off my head before I do that. Here we go. 40, 450. Oh, just bigger. Well done. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put mine back actually. Oh, you can go back. There we go. Lovely little snap. So he'll go home. Come on, mate. Oh, yep. Oh. Yes, boy. Yes, how good. You reckon about your catch? You're pretty happy? Yeah, he's cute. Really? Cute. Gonna turn the uh, bait tank on for you. Worried we might not have a video for you, but we've managed to scrape something together here. No kingfish, but we'll take snapper. I love fresh snapper. Oh shit, not snapper. I love fresh snapper for dinner. I think snapper is so. I, I did say snapper. You said snapper. Oh snapper. It's not snapper. It is snapper. What I was going to say was, I love fresh snapper. No, not snapper. I love fresh, fresh. I love. Fresh snapper. There we go, got it! For dinner. It is so underrated, but it is a bloody beautiful fresh fish. So we'll cruise back to our mark at the top of our drift. Start again, that was pretty instant though. Double hook up straight away. Hopefully the camera works, well both cameras work this time. There's a bit of a, a bit of bulls up. Beautiful evening though. Camera for a walk up around the walk around. I'll take you for a bit of a stroll up the walk around around the front of the boat. It feels bigger. I bet you it won't be. But I bet you it won't be, yeah, you're right. 
I have got a heavier lure on than the other day. Oh, well, the last one's 45 centimetres. When you think that's half, nearly just over half the length of my 23 pounder. <laughs> How many boats have you got? One, two, three, four, five. Five of us out here at the moment. That'd be nice. Thank you. Hats on. I like to get it already. It'll be 55. Hello. Yeah, I just have to get the camera. That's better. It'll be pushing the biggest snapper on the new boat. Beautiful fish. I don't think it's the orange Shimano Baku Baku is doing the damage once again. Very trusty, reliable lure. This one? How big are we? Will you go back? No, he blew himself. Just over 50, like you call that 51 centimetres. Another beautiful snapper. Look at that. I love it. I love a good snapper session like this. Oh, I don't know what I was going to say there. <laughs> back to reality. <laughs> back, back to reality. No, nah, another drift. Let's go again. Let's even get a double this time. Up again, team. We own. Oh, yes. You want? Yes! Oh! Still going? Yep. How big is this fish? You reckon a good one? <laughs> it's little. Oh, it's a little one. Sure it's a snapper. Have a cheeky pals mid, mid snapper fight. This one's behaving, I don't have to walk up the front this time. Look at Laura's fish, what do you got? Oh, well that's, no, not the same size, that's very little. <laughs> He's very little. Jeez, is that even a snapper? Yeah. Looks like a boo whacker. <laughs> Just having a good snapper session, mate. Hey. The kings, they were on, but they're off at the moment. Nah, we're all just on a snapper drifts. Oh, we got, we on food on the oh nice! Yeah. That's epic! Yeah. yeah, I like, they were getting them just on the other side of that rock. There's like a reef that runs right through. Right, from like 50 up to the reef, but... Yeah, I, yeah they went off the bite. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, they... Surely they've got to come back on. This will be number five. five. Beauty. Oh my god. <laughs> Someone got excited. Ace. 38. Mine. Oh. Look, mate, you're buggered. You're not going home. Oh, yep, yeah. 40. Cool that. 45, 48. 48. Oh. It's smaller than my last one. Well, potentially.
athletic last Santa Cruz. We've only managed to be able to release one so far. It's just the extra pushing here, they always seem to come up low today. Is it going? Yeah, we're recording. Oh, I'm hooked up too. No, I'm going to have to come and fight over your side anyway. Yeah, I've got to come around your way. Same fish, you reckon? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's so much easier. Fish on. Double hookup. Fresh snapper for dinner. We've got a heap more boats now. What's that? One, two, three, four there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten boats, ten of us out there. Oh, I am fizzing about this walk around. I have fished the whole boat now. This is so cool up here. Holy heck, team. I love this walk around. Oh. I love this walk around. This is so cool. Fishing up here. Check out this fishing location. How good is this? Ho oh, ho ho! Yes, boy. Oh, here's one fish. Is it you? I think it's me. This is me. Oh, who is it? What? We're both hooked up to the same fish. What the hell? Oh, is that? It's definitely you, isn't it? Yeah, because yeah. he's my hook, he's my leader. Net. You're... I think you still have a fish. You probably do. Just wait. Yeah, I got a fish. <laughs> Yeah, I still got a fish on. Let's leave him there. Oh shit. Alright, the easiest way is just gonna be to chop that line off there. Yeah, definitely a fish on here. But here's my leader anyway. Yeah, you good. Go. Yeah, do you wanna wind it? Rubbish, this is my fish. I've got the leader though. Here he is. Here's my fish. <laughs> wow. Try and get him in the net. Saws. <laughs> yes. Well, that was bloody lucky to land that. How good. How bloody good, team. Oh, what are we doing here? Jeez, it'll be good to get some rod holders on these gunnels. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice crocs, by the way. Matching the lure. Yes. Lure matching crocs today. There's my crocs. Actually, where are my crocs? <laughs> Here they are. Just down there. They're just in the shade. Just in the shade, they they uh, got a bit warm in the sun, so they um, 
they're overheating a bit, so I thought we'll just put them in the shade to cool down. Here we are. Nice. Good snapper, that little one. Beauty. Well, that is us done on the snapper tonight. I think we'll go try for maybe have a look for a kingfish, maybe. Yeah. No. We'll have a look anyway. Pack the net up. Oh, a trap. There we are. Lovely. Let's give it a rinse. Beauty. Bang hit, didn't he? Doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> you sort your fish out? It is your fish. Oh, is that my fish? Yeah. No, that's the reason why he's a stroppy bugger. He should <laughs> be dead. Ah. Oh, another boat coming in. The Shimano Baku Baku has slayed the snapper again. I think it's because they're matching Laura's crops. Perfect matching. The lure, look at that colour match. Beautiful. My new favourite jigging spots, eh? Where? Here or on the side, not yeah. in the in the cockpit. What the f the fish on? Fish on? Oh, what's that? Barracuda again, I think. Oh, he wants to run. Not a kingy, surely. Got to be another cuda. Surely, there's a coot, hundreds, hundreds. Oh, I've got extremely excited about a big barracuda. Uh, uh, surely. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, he got one with us out of what? Oh yeah. And those guys got two here. One massive one, like 20 kilos. Wow. Yeah. Did you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. What do you reckon? We go out and find a mooring for the night? Yep, that'd be nice. Have some dinner. What's on well, the menu? Any more oh, turn that off. No idea. What is on the menu for dinner? 
feel like snapper. What have we got? Snapper or burger patties. Hmm. We'll make a decision on the trip, Snapper eh? burgers. Snapper burgers it is. Done. With meat patties. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good combination. <laughs> oh, it's been a it's been an enjoyable day, but it would have been nice to get a kingfish. Got extremely excited about a big barracuda. But we are going to make our way probably to Kitu, maybe for the night. We haven't stayed in there before, have we? No, I don't think so. So we'll go see if we can get a mooring in there for the night. And I have got a bit of a homemade setup to close the cabin in. What? So, yeah, the Stony Creek Fly. It's a bit of a homemade setup to close the cabin in, isn't it? You've jimmy something up, you mean? Yeah, I've already jimmied it up. I tested it yesterday at home. But beautiful evening for a drive home, so we are going to, we'll drive to the mooring, not drive. home. Drive <laughs> <laughs> So, we are going to make our way to Key 2. Next time we see you, we'll be parked up. We'll be at Key 2. What a beautiful evening. You're very burnt. That's a good view. I'm very burnt, am I? Yeah. Look at that, that's a cool photo, cool shot. Right, yeah. Key to Bay. Never stayed here before, but this is cool. It is very sheltered. There is not a breath of wind in here, which is quite cool, but found a wee mooring for the night. But how cool is this bay? Sun going down. We should get the early morning sun over that hill when we wake up. Should be quite cool. Still a few pines around though. You just closed my window. Oh, I was going to talk to you, but... What was your thoughts of Key 2 Bay? Do you like it in here? It's quite cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you're gonna ask me? That's all I wanted to ask oh. you, but you closed the window on me. Sorry. Well, this we have a swimming leaf. One spare mooring just there. Oh no, it's not on the camera. Oh, there. There's a spare mooring just there. Must be dinner time. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm cold too. What I need to do is fill it a piece of, fill it some snapper. Yep. Snapper, did you call it? Snapper or snapper? In Laura's words, it's snapper. <laughs> it's actually going to be a catch and cook video. Oh. It will be, won't it? Well, we we're going to do a catch and cook team. Holy heck! This is such a cool bay. Yes, yeah, so this is a swimming leaf right here. Yeah, it is swimming leaf. It's a floating leaf. Floating leaf. Well, it looks like it's swimming. Okay. Jeez, they're bright. Crocs. Doing well, they haven't gone for a swim yet. Ooh. It... We might even try to do some squid fishing later on. Oh, hopefully there's some squid here. That'd be quite cool, eh? Get some squid. They'll come into your, your shoes. I reckon if you hang them in the water. Before. We've never tried catching squid before. I don't actually think we've ever seen squid when we've stayed out. Yeah, we have. A couple of times I've swum, swum around the lights. Oh. So hopefully tonight we have some more squid swimming around the lights. Squid. Be quite cool. Did you say squids? I think I said squid. <laughs> it's 
It sounded like you said, oh, you might have some more squirts. More <laughs> squirts. Floating around. We'll have some more squirts floating around, apparently. No, I was meant to say squid, but we'll see that on the edit, what I did say. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I said squid. We have some more squirts swimming around the light. All right. This is not getting the snapper filleted. Or done or cooked. Or done or cooked, as Laura says. So I better get on to that. Oh, wait. Damn, that looks good. Not bad, basic, just butter, fish, and bread. There is, in the bay, update, boats, there is one boat around that corner, two, three, four, there's another one behind five, six boats plus us. Seven boats in here for the night, so far. And like I said earlier, there is a spear mooring just over there. Who knows, we might wake up next to a boat. But it'd be nice to wake up the sun coming in. There'll be no fishing tomorrow, team. Uh, the wind is meant to get up, so we will just wake up and make our way home. But first night in the new boat. It's going to be quite cool. Right, time for... Dinner. Oh yeah. It uh, tastes like that snapper was caught about an hour and a half ago. Beautiful. Beautiful. Like I said earlier, I love eating fresh snapper. It's not my number one fish though. Right, I'm gonna finish my dinner. And Laura has nearly, yep, it's like she is not far off having her dinner. So, I'm going to have something to eat. What a bloody beautiful evening it is. Uh, dinner was nice. There's no squid hanging around. So we are gonna call it a night. Um, but we've had to come up with a little bit of Kiwi ingenuity because we haven't got our clears yet to seal off our cabin. So I grabbed a Stony Creek fly and I have tied this up. Now, oh, it's dark, you're not really gonna see, but hey, where are you, Laura? I can see, oh yeah, there's her hands up there. Yeah, she's just doing the last bit of knots. Good bit of ventilation, actually, you'd call that up there. But look at this, it just wraps <laughs> around the cabin. Let's see that. What's that? Oh, there you go, yeah. Wraps around the cabin, there it is. We've just got to tuck it in under the chili bins. But I've just tied it up, the fly ends, look. Perfect. That one tied up to the bow rail. 
Good old Stony Creek fly, eh? So hopefully that'll do the trick tonight. It's not meant to get windy at all until the morning. I think it's like 9 o'clock it comes in. So we should be sweet. As you can hear, the workers are calling everyone to bed. Let's go and check out how much room is at the front of this 2250. Just gonna go through a makeshift door though. Just under here. Oh, oh there's some crocs. Kia ora. Here we are. This is our wee posse for the night. Nice and cosy. But that's it. No squid fishing. Oh, you're back. Here she is. I got stuck. She got stuck. Oh. But that's it. No squid fishing tonight. So we'll see you guys in the morning. As expected, the day is not as good as yesterday. But the wind has picked up a bit earlier than expected. You might not be able to hear it, but it is coming in. It's probably blowing 15 knots. Um, but all in all, though, not bad. My homemade hard top closed indoors. The Stony Creek fly actually worked a bloody treat last night. It was real warm in there. Luckily, there's no wind all night, so it didn't really flap around, but it's flapping around a little bit this morning. But check that out. Probably easier to see now than it was last night. It actually worked mint. Even the little top part up here for ventilation. Yeah. That worked real good. I am still gonna get clears, like clears made up, dropped in clears with a door and stuff, but for now, this fly is doing the job. But no, there'll be no fishing today, as said last night. So it'll be time for a coffee. Crack the jet ball up, have a coffee this morning, and then we'll make our way back to Havelock and head home for a bit of a clean up. And then we're back out here in a couple of days again with a couple of mates. Laura hasn't done him face this morning. Hey, don't. <laughs> no, I don't want to. What do you reckon about the fly? I don't want to. <laughs> Respect my opinion. Respect your opinion. I would have got Laura's opinion on the fly, but... She's not a morning person today. Holy heck, my hair looks like shit. <laughs> no, oh, God. Yeah, definitely morning here. That is morning here. Oh goodness. Ah well, is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry there wasn't a huge amount of fish, just some snapper, but it was still bloody great fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers, team. If you haven't already, make sure you go and check out our podcast channel on Spotify, where we speak with your everyday fisherman and woman about their fishing stories.